Oldham up ahead to Amy Thompson. Jockeying for position. They'll stick with BU. Oldham being marked by Jillian Kenny. Down, yeah. down into the corner. Trying to create space. Once again, Providence tips it out. Deep throw in. Every white jersey has a black jersey either on them or within two or three feet, especially close to the ball. Jenna. Expect heavy ball pressure for these last five minutes. Jenna Oldham takes the easiest option on the throw. Providence able to tow it out. After a bit of jockeying, here comes BU. Oldham has the edge. Puts on the brakes. Now back to the goal is run out of real estate. Needs somewhere to go with it. Here comes the double team from Providence. Can't work herself out of a jam. And they clear. Wow. Really good play. Looks like Jillian Kenny involved on the back line as Co Oldham almost rounded the corner to get that cross in. Just couldn't find that second gear that time around. There's Giannino. I think it was a great defensive play by Providence College as well. Kenny getting in front and recovering after initially moving away from the ball. She seals off that sideline beautifully and prevents any crosses. Here comes the cross from BU. Once again, can't get the first head on it. Dribbles into the net and count it. BU ties this game up with 3.15 to go. Juliana Giannino with the equalizer there. Emerges from the pack, and let's take a look. What a shot by Giannino. Right time, right place. And it was set up by an initial chance that was saved by Bodmer. Giannino, just a quick chip with the right foot. You don't want to waste too much time and let Bodmer get resettled. Nice job by Giannino to quickly send this one towards net. Look, she sees Bodmer out of position, right side of the goal. So she toes it away to the right side. And is able to put it past her. With as quick as this Providence defense is, like you said, you can't waste any time with them. A great, a great first touch there. Found the open side of the net, and now we're all tied up. And I think it's worth mentioning at this point the change in the overtime rules this season in college soccer. No more overtime. They used to do two, I believe it was 10-minute periods of sudden death. That is no more. Games will just now end in a draw after 90 minutes, if not it up. And how about Providence College? They're probably happy with that. They played 10 overtime games last year out of 20 games on their season. They went 3-4-3 three, and three in those games. Here comes BU. Like you said, a little wind in their sails. They're not going to be satisfied with a draw here. They want to tack on one more. PC has numbers, no doubt. Can't gain the edge. Gets the cross, but nobody home. Still got the play going. Fagan inside to G Giannino. This is the most confidence we've seen the BU offense with since the opening eight minutes or so. Well, I think they've kept banging on the door all game. They've had chances, and they were able to keep this just a one-goal deficit. Finish once, and now you got a chance on a possible turnover. And they've found an extra gear here. Amy Thompson ran out of room along the far, or the near side baseline. It'll be a goal kick for Bodmer. A sub for the Terriers. Looks like it will be Giannino to hit the bench. She gets some applause from the fans here at Nickerson Field, and she's going to get big time high fives and hugs in the huddle. Huge goal to knock this thing up against a really good Providence team that was tough to crack for the first 80 plus minutes. How about that, Giannino? At the 86-45 mark, which the, with just 3.15 left on the clock, ties up this game. Also, last year's meeting between these two teams, Providence won 5-1 to one down on their home field.
60 seconds to go here. The game suddenly knotted at one in what looked like could have been an 0-2 start for the BU Terriers. The tides have quickly turned thanks to a goal from Juliana Giannino, the freshman starter on this team. 40 seconds in counting. And again, the new overtime rules, or lack thereof, I should say. Previously, it would have been two 10-minute periods of golden goal. Amy Thompson with the centering pass, just a touch high. And BU has a player on the far post on net, blocked away by PC. Another chance. And that one finds the far post. BU with the lead, 13.1 to go. I believe it may have been Jenna Oldham. Oh my goodness. Sophia Woodland, the hero. Sophia Woodland off the back of a fryer, and she got tired of me talking about those overtime rules. She wanted to end this thing right now and be you. Talk about this switch. Providence now looking at their first loss of the season dead in the face. Take a look here. Woodland goes back to the left side. It's amazing this ball got through as Chloe Ortolano was right there trying to break it up as well. I like that decision as well because Bodmer was thinking that she was going to go to the near side instead she crosses it back BU wins this game and that is going to do it David Boston University 2 the Providence College Friars won after an early goal from Meg Hughes for PC Juliana Giannino and Sophia Woodland answer back in the closing moments of this one 